Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here. Welcome to the road to my 282nd Platinum Trophy. Today's game is filled with spoilers. Actually, it's actually Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, as it's also known. And there is our last trophy, Who's Your Daddy Now? And Biosplatter. Very good name for a Platinum. So this is the seventh main entry in the Resident Evil franchise. I personally did like this game. Uh, I thought it was a very good game overall. Uh, as for difficulty, I would put it around medium difficulty. And I will probably have jumped out of that just to make sure I don't get copyrighted, because I'm sure that music will be copyrighted, or if it is, I might just have to silence a little bit of it. So anyway, Resident Evil 7, it's not the hardest Platinum Trophy out there, but it is a little bit harder than some of the other Resident Evils, like... I want to say Resident Evil 6 is just time-consuming. 5 isn't that bad if you're in co-op, especially on the PS4 version. But this one is purely single-player, which is a really nice thing. You don't have to deal with any multiplayer stuff. So you'll get a few trophies just for completing the game, like all of those are for completing the game. Uh, then you have two potential endings you can get, either by curing Mia or curing Zoe. Uh, you can make that choice. You'll have to play through the game at least twice for all the trophies anyway. Uh, you have to complete the game on Easy, Normal, and Madhouse. They stack. Uh, Madhouse is fairly challenging. It is, it's the equivalent of, like, Professional in any of the other games. Uh, you'll want to make sure you do all the other trophies first, though, because that'll make sure that you have a lot of helpful items unlocked, mainly the Circular Saw, because that allows you to really tear up quite a few enemies more easily. Now, that being said, it's still fairly challenging at times, especially, like, that final mine section. I raged quite a bit in that, and there's a couple other hard parts, like the very first boss fight is actually kind of challenging because you won't have access to any of your items yet. Uh, then you have a lot of simple, like, easy trophies you'll unlock along the way. Like, pretty much all of these are going to be unlocked naturally through your multiple playthroughs because you're most likely going to be playing through the game, I would suggest three times, actually play through it the first time on normal to complete the game, get all the collectibles, and learn how the game is played. Uh, after that, play through it again on easy in a four-hour speed run using the item box three times and th less than three healing items, or three healing items or less. Although steroids do not count for that trophy. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, increasing your item slots, you have to find a backpack to do it. Uh, finish them off with a knife is pretty easy. Uh, that one is a little bit more annoying. It might end up killing you, but it's still easy. Uh, this one is a little bit annoying. I can't remember exactly what you had to do to do this one. Uh, I think that this one you had to like do a lot of damage to her when you're in the old house before you actually fight her. Uh, this one is pretty easy to get. It's in an early boss fight. Uh, this one, I can't remember exactly where you get this, but I think it's actually pretty easy. You can get it on like the flies, the big fly thingies. Uh, this one's a little bit tricky, but it's still not too hard. This one's really glitchy. Like it's really hard to make enemies in the way that you can actually throw that on someone, stick it on someone. Uh, making all the items here, that's pretty easy. Uh, you have to play the videotapes, but those are easy. Uh, you have to do all the videotapes in a single playthrough, that's easy. Uh, the antique coins, they are actually in different places on Madhouse compared to easy or normal, so you'll have to collect them on both different playthroughs. But they're very good to get because they unlock items for you. Uh, read all the files, you'll need to follow a guide for that. Destroy all the statues, uh, follow a guide for that. And then a few gold trophies for the game. You have to complete the game in under four hours. It's not hard at all. And I would recommend combining all three of these trophies together on easy difficulty. Uh, that's the best way to do them because it's it, it'll be challenging at a few points. But it's really not that hard because on easy they take care of you very well. You have a lot of health. It's not too bad overall. Uh, there's only three places though where you can really use the item box on that. So... That trophy's a little bit more annoying. The four hours is not bad at all. You can easily do it in under three. You can probably do it in under two and a half if you really go at it quickly. Uh, about the worst thing about this, though, is... Unfortunately, there's a lot of DLC for this game, as you can probably see. You have all of this DLC. And this is all the DLC the game's going to have. But uh, DLC 1 has this insanely hard Ethan Must Die trophy. I don't know if I'll ever get that one. Uh, volume 2 has Survival Plus Mode in 21, which is extremely time-consuming and fairly difficult. Although the Daughters and uh, Jack's 55th birthday aren't as bad. End of Zoe, I don't think is as bad overall, but it does have a trophy for completing it on like an Ethan Must Die equivalent mode, but I think you can save in it. 
So that's helpful. And then Not a Hero, I haven't even actually gotten around to playing yet, but it's just completed and completed on the highest difficulty, so that's fairly reasonable. So anyway, like I said, Resident Evil 7, my 282nd Platinum Trophy. It's a medium difficulty game. It's not overly time consuming. Uh, it is a fun game, especially if you're playing on a lower difficulty, so it's a little bit easier to survive. But anyway, oh, didn't mean to hit that. Level 53, 89%, 13,258 total trophies, 282 Platinums, 1,490 Golds, 3,321 Silvers, 8,165 Bronzes. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be going back to that game some more to work on DLC. But I will see you guys for whatever the next Platinum is.